Hi, Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters at the Caddisfly. And we're tying a super skunk. Super skunk? This is an enhanced skunk tied on one of Alec Jackson's wonderful. This happens to be on a steelhead iron. So how do you create a super skunk? I wanted something that was bright and bold to fish principally in the winter. I went to looking around for some red tail materials and I wasn't very satisfied with what I found. Uh, I could have looked farther. Just the old hackle tips weren't enough for you. The old hackle tips weren't enough. So I decided to use, lo and behold, Arctic orange Arctic Fox. Now it's not red, but boy, it's bright. And it's substantial, and I edge this tail with Crystal Flash. I actually have a few more fibers there than I would normally have. I'd normally have just two on each side, but we're going to go with that. And then, uh, boy, if you're going to tie a super skunk, it better have a green butt on it, because that chartreuse butt is something that... It's just worked for years and years and years. So I'm, I'm looking for a fly that's got good visibility here. So the orange, the hot orange, gives us build visibility. And the, um, the chartreuse gives us visibility. And the black gives us visibility. So there you go. So I have some ice dub and some black STS. And I'm going to... Spin up a little bit of dubbing here, and I got too much chartreuse, so I'm going to put some black over my chartreuse, hopefully. See how that works. Maybe that's going to work. Yeah, that's going to work. Maybe. We'll see. Let's give this a try. See how we do. Sometimes these come out just right. Sometimes not quite just right. I got my tinsel kind of harassing me there. Here's our chartreuse butt. A little bit of black in it, that's just fine. Spin it forward. Came out better than I thought it was going to. Now we're going to rivet. I know that. So we, I could use a black hackle here. First of all, I'm going to... It's a little trick. That body was a little bit thicker than I wanted it in one place and not thick enough in another. I'm going to use, instead of a black hackle, it's a fairly wide Coke de Leon saddle feather. This is a whiting saddle. It's, it's, uh, it's nice, it's webby, it's wide, it gives you that flowy spay fly feeling. Um, nicely modeled, it's dark, it gives you good visibility. Wind this in by the tip. So the Super Skunk, I want this to be visible. I want it to be a pretty bold profile. And so the orange and the chartreuse and the black and the heavy tackle is going to do that. This is an unweighted fly, but it's going to sink quite nicely. Uh, the, the steelhead irons, Alec has got a, it, it's a real winner of a hook. It's, it has sufficient heft to penetrate the water column very nicely. So instead of a white wing, like many skunks have, and again to enhance the boldness of this fly in dark water, 
If it was flat out brown water, I'd probably fish the Flame Boss version. Uh, but in steelhead green water, good thick pea soup green. This is this is one of my favorite flies. The black is nicely visible in that thick steelhead green water. A little bit of crystal flash. Enhancement on the wing. Let's not overdo it here. Jay, let's go with two strands. Far side of the wing. Two strands near side. Trim. Now we're getting ready. I'd like to have a nice, um, shiny, smooth, firm um, head on this fly. Let's see, shall I mix up some epoxy? Shall I take, you know, five minutes to mix up the epoxy and then put it on a turner and get it drier? Oh no! I will use some clear cure goo. Cure goo. Hydro. And I, be very careful. Now with epoxy, I have had trouble epoxying the eyes of the hook. I've not had that problem with this product. Let me get just the right amount on there. And you could do multiple coats with that right, if you right. wanted to. Chris tells me I could use one turn and it's done. I do two. Three to seven seconds. Yeah, there you go. Really nice smooth head. Super skunk. 